Hey y'all, in these very waters behind me lurks a creature. This show plunges its audience into a world that people have not really heard of and even fewer have seen. The show is working on the wild side, and in a nutshell, it's essentially dirty jobs, but with wildlife. So you're seeing common folks doing really extraordinary things that people have no idea about. All right, so we just had one of the most exciting manatee dives that I've ever had in my life. So I was meeting with prospective students that come to talk to me. They have this passion and this love for animals and they know that they want to work with animals, that they have to work with animals. I was that kid once, and I knew what it was like to, to know what direction I wanted my life to go in, but to have no idea where my job opportunities were. There's a whole world of wildlife jobs out there, of animal-related jobs that they can be proud of, and they can do work that they're passionate about. Got a fish and feed off their tissues. Oh, he's so cute! One of the special things about this show is that it is primarily student driven. All of those shots that you see uh, on each episode, those are all union students that I've piled in my truck and we've gone somewhere to go tell a story. Time to turn up the heat and get our hands dirty with some habitat management and restoration work. In essence, we're going to purposely start a fire, a really big fire. I have students right now helping to prepare a pitch to Nat Geo Wild. We're wrapping up the first season. I'm even more excited about the second season because we're going to go to further places and, and we're going to go bigger. We're wrapping up an incredible adventure with a reintroduction biologist and my goodness what a job they have. This stands out amongst other nature shows because a lot of those shows just paint humans as the problem. And while we've caused a lot of these issues, as Christians, we should be the ones on the forefront taking care of God's world that he created. And that's one of my favorite things about the study of biology is that you're studying the fingerprints of the creator and what he's done. And so that has always filled me with the passion and enthusiasm about nature. And so these folks that I'm spending time with, they're just your average, common, everyday folks. but. They're really, in my mind, conservation heroes doing work that has to be done. And I hope that that inspires people to keep following their dreams and continue on the paths and to be that person that God has called them to be because those desires and those talents that we have, those interests that we have were put there for a reason.